Good evening, everyone. Uh, just while everyone's taking their seats, uh, welcome to Milton Court, the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. Uh, my name is Sean Gregory. I'm one of the vice principals here and director of innovation and engagement. And we're really delighted to be hosting this event this evening. I'm just going to say a few words about the Guildhall uh, to tell you that we're a vibrant international community of musicians, actors and production artists. And we're based here, obviously, in the heart of the city of London. Uh, we are renowned, particularly as a performing arts training institution in creative and professional practice, preparing young people, students for the profession. But equally critically, we promote innovation, research and knowledge exchange and are one of the UK's leading providers of lifelong learning in the performing arts, offering inspiring training for children, uh, young people, adult learners, as well as creative and business professionals. Uh, we've got a rich heritage as a school of doing things differently, being bold and taking risks. We've got a long history of socially engaged practice and in interdisciplinary work as well, as well as building up innovative partnerships, for example, with the Barbican and the Royal College of Art. I myself was a student here as a composer in the late 80s, and the postgraduate course I came on was all about the musician in society and what you could take out into the wider community, which was, dare I say, well ahead of game at the time. Uh, we were also the first conservatoire, and I'm playing, I hope, right into this evening's theme. We were the first conservatoire in the UK to establish a professional music therapy training in 1968, in fact, leading ultimately to our current two-year MA degree at Guildhall, established and approved by the Healthcare Professions Council. Uh, important elements of the Guildhall Music Therapy MA training include a strong musical focus with a staff team who are skilled as clinicians, educators and writers, with a robust diverse team of placement providers in mental health, education and community settings. Uh, graduate employment rate is high in this. In the last two years, 75% found salaried employment immediately um, and a larger proportion of that in the NHS as practitioners trained to be imaginative, empathetic, flexible and skilled in the applied use of music in a range of settings. And one way is I'm obviously talking up the Guildhall, but I'm also saying this, I think, just to show the growing relevance it is for us as an institution to be thinking about our role in society and what the arts can bring to society as broadly as possible. And skilled practitioners in this area can be great performers on the stage, of course, great composers, great collaborators, but what we can do and what we can offer our students and the wider public is really key in relation to the, that. We've also got many other initiatives uh, in this area through our own very innovate, our very own innovation team, such as a creative partnerships program, creative entrepreneurs, an open program of adult modular short courses, which runs all year round and it's open to everyone, uh, as well as coaching and mentoring through a program called Ignite, which works across the corporate, cultural, and public public service sectors. We've also got um, an Institute for Social Impact and Research in the Performing Arts, which includes a highly active health and well-being research group led by Donald Weatherick, who I think might be here this evening, and who are indeed planning a one-day programme of talks and workshops events in January 2024, which may be of interest to you. So we're very interested about the context our graduates go on to and work in, and I hope it's coming across. It's not just in the uh, in the the more obvious performing arts venues and stages, which is, of course, a key part of what we do, but out into the wider community. And we want this work to be as of the highest order and quality as possible. And quality and effectiveness in those sorts of settings bring other things, as well as just being able to play the notes in the right order, as uh, Eric Morgan once sort of said very famously. Um, and joking apart, our purpose, we have a new strategy that's just coming out, is not only to be the home of exceptional training research and partnerships in the performing arts, but to inspire the extraordinary. Also to help people to live well in a world worth living in. 
Now, this is all very well, but we can't do that on our own. No one institution or no one individual can do that. So this word together, which I know is part of this evening, feels really important. What can we do in partnership moving forward? What can we do better together rather than trying to do it on our own? And that feels a very strong thing coming through tonight. And just a couple of questions, which I'm not expecting an answer to, or I'm not, certainly not going to answer myself. But for us, as a place that trains artists, you know, what action needs to be taken to bring socially engaged artists more in from the margins to a more central strategic position, not only in the cultural and art sector itself, but integrated into our societal ecology as a whole? That remains a very active and live question for us, and it's evenings like this that help to inform how we might move forward as an organisation ourselves. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what's coming up. So I'm going to stop now, and I'm now delighted to introduce you to Linda Bryant, who has been Chief Executive together for Mental Wellbeing since May 2018. She first joined the organisation 16 years ago as a frontline forensic mental health practitioner and became Director of Criminal Justice Services at Together in 2014, joining the senior management team. She's got a 25-year history of working in the voluntary and community sector overall, having worked as a practitioner with people with mental health, personality disorder and complex needs since 1992. Linda, it's great to have you here. Over to you.